Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side and I'm here in Scarborough. Yes, I'm on the east coast of the UK and I'm from Blackpool and it's unbelievable really that this is my first ever visit to Scarborough. Yeah, it's unbelievable. After all this time, I finally make it here to Scarborough and there's not a whole lot I know about Scarborough. I've not done any research on the place. The only things I know about Scarborough beforehand are that it's a spa town. I know that it's a spa town and I also know about the grand, the famous Grand Hotel behind me, or rather, should I say, infamous these days. It opened in 1867. Yeah, just look at that building there. Oh, my God. I stayed in there as well. You might have already seen my video where I stayed for a night here in the Grand, if I put it out before this one. If I haven't, then you'll, you'll see it after this one. But check that out if you, if you haven't seen it already. My stay in the Grand Hotel. It was quite interesting. But anyway, I'm going to take a look around around Scarborough and I'll see what I think of the place. Like I say, I've not done any research on it. Oh, there's a cracking view over there. Oh, the sun, I saw the sunrise this morning. The sun looked spectacular as it came up this morning. Second morning in a row I've seen the sunrise. But it was a bit of a bad day yesterday. I had a walk around yesterday, but it was too bad to do a video. So I've decided to stay over for another day and I'll have a walk around and I'll see what it's like. How does it compare to Blackpool? Well, there's a lot of noise in Scarborough this morning. They're doing a lot of work. They're repairing some tarmac just up there. So it's quite noisy around here at the moment. St. Nicholas Cliff, I think this is called. There's a sign over there. And look at this building here, the Grand Hotel. Just look at that. What a building. I think the closest thing we've got to that in Blackpool is probably the Imperial, I'd say. Something like that. Maybe the old miners' home or the Cliffs Hotel. We've got a few grand buildings in Blackpool, but uh, this one, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll see the front of it a bit later on anyway. I'm just in this little garden area here. Yeah, check it out. Got some trees as well. That's a bit of a rarity in Blackpool trees, you know. Let's go and have a look over there at the, the coast and then we'll set off on our little walk around Scarborough. So where do you start in Scarborough? Well, I thought we might as well start here at the Grand Hotel because it's the most dominant structure in Scarborough and there are a few videos on YouTube about it, so... and I've done my own. And we've got a sign here saying, Welcome to Scarborough. I'm pretty much here. We've got two beaches, so I'm on the South Bay and uh, I can hop over there to the North Bay. They've also got a castle up here. And there's also Anne Bronte, one of the Bronte sisters, is buried somewhere. Look there, can you see that Anne Bronte? We'll have a look at that a bit later on. But I'm going to start off here. I'm not really sure how to get around, really, but I think, really, if we just have a look down here, just look at these views. Wow, look at this. Never feed the ghouls. Ooh, they don't have signs like that in Blackpool for them. <laughs> but just look at this. Oh, I've got to show you, by the way, I saw the sunrise here yesterday. It was a red sky in the morning. Shepherd's warning and I tell you what it certainly came true because it was not a nice day yesterday but just look at this view we're looking towards the south down that way I believe that uh, Filey is down that way and Flamborough Head although Flamborough Head I'm not quite sure if you can see Flamborough Head from here it might just be blocked by Filey we've got a cafe here St Nicholas Cafe and if I go on the other side let's have a look there's a bridge over here, look. Check this out. Oh, just look at this bridge here. That goes over quite fancy, isn't it? Yeah. It goes over the the lower promenade. And it was from here where I saw that sunrise yesterday. I've been dreaming of seeing the sunrise on the East Coast. And uh, I got to see one yesterday. It was a really nice sunrise. But yeah, like they say, red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Let's have a good look at the South Bay. Here we go. We've got a roundabout down there. Uh, that's quite interesting. I'll have to have a little look in there. And just over this side, I've only just noticed actually. Look at this. Is it a funicular? 
this is one of the old funiculars there. Look at that, look how steep that is. Oh my goodness, I never saw that the other day. That's just behind the cafe. Yeah, that is double steep, that is. And it looks like that's one of the, the I think they had five altogether, and this one's not, obviously these aren't in use. Yeah, but there is one in use. I think it's just over there. We'll probably see it a bit later on, yeah. It's quite a long way down, folks. And Scarborough is pretty hilly as well, yeah. And as I pan this way, we've got the Rotunda, is it the Rotunda or the Rotunda? That building there is a museum, yeah. And uh, there are some grand buildings here in Scarborough, yes. And they don't come much grander than the Grand Hotel. OK, I'm heading across this bridge now because I've not been across it before. I've been around Scarborough, the main part of the town over here yesterday. I had a little walk around, just getting used to the place. I've not been over this way. So I want to have a look on this side of the bridge. And when we've had a look over there, we'll head back over this side and uh, we'll, we'll have a look at the, the town centre. I've got to show you this view here. Can you see that funicular? I hope I'm saying that right. Just there on the left hand side and just look at that view across the bay there. I've not even been down there yet, folks. Yeah, the weather was a bit too bad yesterday, so I was inside, yeah. But that you can see the castle on the hill there. And that's where Rambrunt is. She's only 29 as well. So we will be going up there to have a look at that a bit later on. And you can see the harbour over there with the bit of a lighthouse going on and the odd fishing boat maybe. What's this place here? The Spa Chalet. That's rather swanky, doesn't it? It says there, five stars. Luxury holiday home, wow. You get the whole house. I bet that's not cheap, is it? Anyway, I'm gonna head along here. We'll have a look down on the beach. There's a map there. South Cliff Gardens. The tide is going out at the moment, I think. You know, one of the things about coming to the East Coast is that I'm really disorientated. Uh, when I'm in Blackpool, it's easy to know which way is north, south, east, west, uh, because our promenade runs straight up and down. But when you when you're in some of these places on the east coast, um, they're a bit higgledy-piggledy, you know, they're all over the place. And, uh, it's easy to lose your bearings and, and wonder which way you're facing sometimes. Yeah, but, uh, I wonder if I'll get used to it, but uh, I'll probably be heading back to Blackpool by the time I get used to it. Nice little shelter there. I wonder if they get beer monsters in these shelters. Anyway. I can tell which way I'm oriented because I just look towards the sun and the sun's roughly towards the south, so I can kind of tell which way south is. The spa. Bit of history here, folks. Just listen to the sound of the sea as we head down to the spa here in Scarborough. I'll just give you another look around. The views from up here are just unbelievable. Just listen to this. Well, we've got volunteers tidying these gardens here. They do that in Blackpool as well. Jubilee Gardens, yeah. It's a pity the council don't uh, have the funds to, to do it. it. It's great having people volunteer to do little bits, but really, in the olden days, I suppose, they had more money to throw at gardens, didn't they? But now, they t seem to just throw it at other things, don't they? And it's up to volunteers to try to keep things looking a bit neater. I can't help showing you this view, just look at this. Okay, I'm now on this terrace here. I believe I'm on the spa. This building over here, I'm 
I'm stood on top of it actually. Just look at this terrace here, look. Wow. Filming something down there. I wonder what that's for. As seen on TV. They're actually filming for songs of praise, yeah. Songs of praise. So if you see Scarborough on songs of praise anytime soon, you know, this is where they were doing some of the filming. It looks like they're just getting footage of the waves. So look out for it on songs of praise. Just wondering whether some of this uh, barrier along here is a bit unsafe. They've got this temporary temporary barriers in here. You do see a bit of that in Blackpool as well along the promenade where some of the old on um, North Shore or North of North Pier where they have the old railings and they've had to put temporary barriers in because uh, some of it's rushed the way. They haven't got round to renovating some of that yet. But uh, I'm making my way along this uh, Scarborough Spa. There you go, Spa. I wonder if you can get the water from in here. Yeah, do they have baths in here? Well, they probably do, don't they? They're like bath. Harrogate. Harrogate's a spa town as well. Well, we're coming up to a fancy bit now. Look at this. Check out how steep that cliff is up there. Wow, there's a really windy path that makes its way all the way up there. Wow, it's a long way up, I'm telling you. But look at this down here. Wow, this is fancy, isn't it? It's like a little sort of outside theatre. Maybe they'd have bands on there in that bit there, yeah? You could play chess on that as well, couldn't you, on that floor? I'll tell you what, it's a massive complex, this, you know. Ocean room over there, look at that. It's like a big conference centre. But here's a look back from where I've just come from. All that there, look at it. Isn't it grand? Anyway, I'm just about to head down this staircase now. Steps, should I say. I don't think this is Victorian, by the way. Yeah, this bit over here looks a bit more modern, I'd say. I found another funicular, look. Here we are. Wow, just look how steep that is. Wow, no wonder. They needed a few of these round here to take people up and down. This one's closed off as well. There's only one that's running and that's the one that's next to the Grand Hotel, I believe. So as you can see, they might have them running in the summer, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it's been abandoned, this one. What do you think? So maybe it's not shut altogether, but I'll just show you this part of the, the beach. It's looking a bit kind of rocky here now, look at this. Oh. The sound of that sea is amazing, the North Sea. It feels really calm as well at the moment. We've just had that storm issue and we're supposed to have another storm blowing in today. And it did feel quite windy where I was over the other side, but around here now, at the bottom of these cliffs, maybe I'm protected from the wind. I think the wind's coming from the west. So it might be a bit different later in the video when I head over there and we get the wind blasting over there, especially on top of that hill over there where the castle is. That could be quite interesting up there. Right, OK, it's getting a little bit wild up here now, folks. We've got some beach huts up here. They're doing a load of work over there. We've got like a pavilion building up there. I'm not going to go any further now this way. I'm going to head back. I'm going to head back this way. There's quite a bit of work going on around here. There's some scaffolding up here. So I'm going to head back this way i'm going to head over to the bottom of the grand hotel and i'll see you over there 
OK, I've come down here onto the beach. I had to come onto the beach, didn't I? But there's that bridge I came across. We started up there in front of the Grand Hotel. You can see that funicular there. That is so, so steep, that is. But I'm going to make my way over to the promenade there, just in front of the Grand. Oh, look at this. It's not bad for January the 25th. Mind you, we have had a lot of storms to put up with lately. You know, when I came down the steps onto the beach, I noticed some water coming out of like a little sort of fountain thing in the side of the wall and it was running down the steps and that apparently is one of the spring heads yeah i found it just by accident really i happened to come down the steps just up there um, i'm just showing it on the screen now how about that i managed to find one of the outlets for the spring just look at that the grand hotel i was trying to suss how many stories it is i think it's about 10 stories on this side because uh, it's a lot it comes down the cliff you see and it looks like there was maybe like a grand entrance maybe at this side which has been blocked up since it might have been a, a way out onto a patio or something they have like leveled air, terraced areas probably a garden in the past it looks a little bit rough nowadays but when when this was in its height there would have been some really nice gardens up there for people to come out of the cafe and, and sit and watch the watch the beach watch the the sea so that's the cafe level on the top thing there that's where the cafe is there yeah that's where I was having my breakfast the other day if you saw that video I'll put a link to that video uh, in the description or at the end of this one well I think I'm gonna have a go on the funicular folks I want to head back up and I'm not going up the stairs so let's head on to this thing shall we that's if it's open I think it's open there's a guy stood outside Uh, are we okay to? Yeah, just one minute. Uh, thank you. Ooh, now then. Look at this. Wow. I'm on it. I just walk straight on. £1.30 it's going to cost. Look at that, I'm going to go all the way up there. locked in oh no do I have to pay when I get to the top I don't know you know it reminds me a little bit of being on a Blackpool tram in this uh, carry oh what moving up <laughs> oh my goodness it started moving we're going up folks I've got to show you this oh look I'm going up and there's another one coming down I think that's the way they work you see they work on like a a balance. We're heading up. 1881 was the date when it opened. Look at that. I think I've got a pay on the way out. Oh, I survived. Here we are. Look at that. Wow. Oh, wowzers. Yeah. Uh, Hiya. Hiya. Do you want to check that? Look at that. Oh. Fantastic. 68. Lovely. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Do I need to go through this? <laughs> right, there you go. I made it. Look at that. Let's have a little look at the... Uh, well, that was interesting. Look at that. Here's a look at the front. Or the top, should I say. Tramway to the beach. They've even got a little cafe here as well. Look at that. Queen Victoria. Does she look amused? Uh, not too sure, really. But that's a grand statue, isn't it? We're right up here now at the top. Almost where I started. If we look back this way, we get to see the entrance to that uh, tramway there and the, the other side of the Grand Hotel, which is a V-shape. Can you see it's a V-shape? 
and it's got like a circular thing in the middle of it there it's a little bit difficult to see but if you look at it on on top down on maps you can see but while we're up here i thought we might as well have a look around the town center shall we and then i'll head back down onto the promenade again and we'll have a look down there and then we'll head to the castle i think that's the royal hotel over there and i thought i'd show you this before we do anything else the town hall check it out it was actually built in 1846 but according to the blue plaque it was built for a banker yeah what was this was a house for a family wow and it wasn't purchased by the corporation until 1899 yeah how about that wow so that's the sort of building you get in 1846 and next to that this is the sort of building we get in the 1960s this is where probably most of the work is done for the council now in that building there just behind that one what a difference eh? Okay. Now we've got another grand building over here now. That was probably a bank, wasn't it? There, that one there, look. So it's got a florist and a, a boutique. A beautician, should I say, on the ground floor. I wonder what's on the, the next few floors. Hmm. It's called Georgian House, by the way. Look at this uh, gated entrance here. It's probably flats, isn't it? Yeah. It's got to be flats, hasn't it? Well, they could be offices. HSBC. Yeah. I like looking at the old banks. They're usually the grandest buildings going, apart from the civic buildings, of course. I like the old style Marks and Spencer. Uh, this street is called St Nicholas Street, by the way, and that is the Barclays. Look at this. That's a view down one of the main drags in the town centre there. Nice building on the corner. Could do with a lick of paint. Uh, this one here could do with more than a lick of paint. In fact, I think it could do with levelling. It's got a heron foods at the bottom of it as well. I've just noticed in this Barclays Bank here that it used to be Woodall, Hebden and Company. Woodall, that's the name behind that uh, town hall. That was the guy who it was built for, yeah. And this became Barclays in 1896. ML, 1900. Bar Street. Well, they've got some quite swanky shops down Bar Street. Check this one out here, a tobacconist. Black Swan Shop. Cuban cigar specialist, wow. Here's a look at the town centre of Scarborough. And this is a Wednesday, late January. How are we looking? It's actually looking quite busy, if you ask me. We've even got beer monsters here in Scarborough. Jumping all over the furniture. The dog doesn't approve. <laughs> Beer monsters are making a lot of noise. Anyway, I've found the Weatherspoons. This is a Lord Roseberry. I think it's one of two in Scarborough. They seem to have a language all of their own, the beer monsters. I can't even tell what they're saying. Anyway, just over there is a, an Art Deco theatre. Look at that there, Cinema Theatre Art Deco. We'll check that out in a minute. I just want to show you this up here. Alma Square, look at this, we don't have anything like this in Blackpool. In fact, this reminds me a little bit of Brighton. Although saying that, I didn't like Brighton. Not a fan of Brighton. But from what I've seen of Scarborough so far, I am pretty impressed. There's a railway station over there. Scarborough Railway Station. Yeah, and just over here, look at this building here. Oh, I love the deco. 
Oh, and I've seen that at night and it looks right fancy because they've got the neon strips on it, yeah. Oh, gotta love a bit of deco, haven't you? 1930s, 1960s. How much is a house in Scarborough? Guide price, 125,000. That'll be an auction, won't it? That's not too bad, it's got three storeys as well. It might even have a basement. Check this out, I found the police station. It was only given away by all the police vehicles down there. I did not expect that to be a police station. I've not seen one look like that before. Yeah. I think the one in Blackpool's a lot fancier than this one. The new one, that is. Not the old central police station, of course, which was a brutalist affair. Yeah, it looked a little bit more like that building over there, which is a job centre. There you go, Scarborough Job Centre. Did they not have a car park for all the uh, police vehicles? They've got to park them all outside. Wow. Oh, I can hear sirens. It's kicking off in Scarborough. And we're just outside. Oh, it's an ambulance. You know, the funny thing I've noticed, and this happened in Skegness as well, is that the closer to the town centre, the posher it seems. I was struggling to find an area at Skegness which wasn't quite so posh, and the same seems to be true here in Scarborough. We're right by the town centre here, and all of the properties around here seem to be on the posh side, which is the total opposite in Blackpool. In Blackpool, the closer to the town centre you get, the less uh, salubrious it tends to be. Dean's award-winning fish and chips. Pity they're closed. At Northway. Yeah, we're just across from the telephone exchange. Check it out. Isn't it pretty? Well, this road here is called Barwick Terrace. Rather quaint. OK, I've just come back here to the main road, just by the, the cinema, theatre, or whatever you want to call it, the Art Deco Theatre, just in front of the railway station there. And uh, I tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating at the moment, you know. It's not as windy or as cold as what I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be taking this scarf off, you know. I've just found another square here. Check this out here. I'll turn the camera around. Look at this. It's fancy. It's got a pond. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yeah, it's called West Square, this, and it's quite swanky as well, although some of it does look like it could do with a bit of TLC. There's a notice on a door there saying that someone hasn't been paying the rent, so someone's been a bit naughty around here. Anyway, I'm going to head back towards where we started, roughly, by the Grand Hotel, and from there I might make my way over to the castle. So look, a train, Trans Pennine Express. I can go back to Blackpool. The railway opened in 1845, that's about 10 years before Blackpool. Well, I found Scarborough's ugliest building. This is Pavilion House, just across from the railway station. It's been empty for a while and they're looking to turn it into flats. I'm not sure if that's ongoing. Check this out, we love a bit of brutalism, don't we? Anyway, this is for the Tesla drivers when they move in. We've got some charge points right here. They're the Instavolt ones as well. And Pavilion House is part of another square here. Check it out. Look at that fancy balcony they've got going around there. And isn't it uh, against the um, tenancy to hang your washing on the balcony? <laughs> We're getting to see some quality buildings around this part of town. And just over there is the Tesco. That's the largest superstore I could find actually in Scarborough. And just down there is a bridge. Not sure if that goes over a river or, or is it just like a a bit of a valley, but look at this here, Plantation Hill. This looks fancy, doesn't it? Plantation Hill. Let's go down here, shall we? Now then, doesn't this look fancy? We don't have anything like this in Blackpool, do we? Not near the town centre anyway. Check it out, there's even some houses here. Look at that here, on Plantation Hill. Yeah, and then there's, there's an estate agent just at the top there, but I, I 
from the look of it, it looks like the only deal in really fancy properties. And here's another thing, compared to Blackpool Scarborough, very, very different, of course. It's hilly, it's all up and down. But in Blackpool, we, it's very, very concrete. It's like a concrete jungle, especially near the town centre. You've got to go right out towards Stanley Park before you find any proper green spaces. You certainly don't get anything like this. You know, green spaces anywhere near the town centre. And that's what I've noticed about here in Scarborough and, and in Skegness as well. Loads of tree-lined streets as well, particularly in Skegness. I was really surprised at how many tree-lined streets they had there. Wow. Look at this. I tell you what, when you're in Scarborough, you've uh, got to be quite good at walking up and down hills. Am I allowed to go through here? It doesn't say private. Let's have a look up here, shall we? Now then. Look at this. The robins never stop singing. That's all I can hear, robins here on Plantation Hill in Scarborough. Oh, well, I'm out of breath, folks. I've just come back up Plantation Hill and uh, it's a nice Volkswagen. Check it out. And look at this, we've got a crescent. This reminds me now of uh, Bath, yeah? Look at this, isn't it fancy? Check it out. The Central Hotel Scarborough. Fancy. Right, OK, you might notice that I've changed my hat. I've actually put my cap on. I didn't put it on earlier because I thought it would be too windy and I thought it would blow off. And I was too hot in that other, that other hat. So I've changed my hat. I've also took my scarf off as well because I was absolutely roasting. I've done four miles in this video so far. What I'm going to do now is going to head back towards where the Grand is. I'm going to head down onto the promenade. We'll walk along the promenade and then I'll head up onto that hill and we'll probably finish off up by that castle on the hill. OK, I've just nipped in here to the MS and uh, got myself a scone. Ooh, look at that, isn't it awesome? And a cup of tea. If I need this after all that walking around. OK, I've just had my little break there in M&S and uh, funny enough, I don't know we go in there actually. Uh, felt a bit like a whippersnapper, but it was really good. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? OK, so we'll leave the town hall behind. And I'm going to head down these steps now. Onto the beach level. It's a long way down, folks. Check this out. Oh, isn't it fancy? It's nothing like Blackpool here, is it? Look at these gardens here. Oh, we're really high up, you know. I can hear the sea as well from up here. And look at this. I can't get enough of this view, folks. Look, we've even got a little park down there, look. St. Nicholas Gardens. And we're heading for the hill. Oh, that was a lot of steps. I've made it down to the beach level again. Here we are. I tell you what, they seem to have a lot of problem with sand coming over here. They to keep having to get the diggers out to, to scoop up. I've not seen this much sand on Blackpool promenade. Look at it. I wonder if it's doing the storms. I'm not sure. But I've never seen this much sand. Well, not normally do you get out this much sand on Blackpool's promenade like you have here. I just want to check out this place here, Olympia Leisure. It's a big arcade. Let's go and have a look, shall we? 1800. Look at this little mosaic here. Quite fancy, isn't it? Look at that artwork there. Whoa. 
that is amazing. Right next to the toilets. You have to pay to go in, by the way. Uh, I don't know how much it is, but yeah, you have to pay for the toilets. Quick look at the arcade. It's got two levels. I won't film too much in here because we're a little bit picky about filming in arcades, but we're getting a little look at one of the main arcades here in Scarborough. We've got bowling upstairs and a licensed bar. Wow. Anyway, that was a little look inside the arcade. Takes me right back home, that does. And just over here, we've just come out now. And as I look out towards there, we see the RNLI. I wonder if they're training. They've got the boat out there. Yeah, just look at all this sand here. All over the promenade. Wow. Oh, just check out this, folks. Look at this. I can't get enough of this. This is awesome. Wow. Maybe I should move to Scarborough. What do you think? Coney Island. You know, I've always wanted to go to Coney Island, New York. It's a little bit like Blackpool. They've got a fun fair there, it's by the sea. And they've also got a roller coaster there called the Cyclone. And it's a really, really good roller coaster. I always wanted to go on it. I haven't been able to go on it yet. It's a classic. But it does have a sister roller coaster up in Santa Cruz, California called the Giant Dipper, I think. I've actually seen that roller coaster there, but it was out of season. Couldn't get to go on that one either. But if you've ever seen Southern Impact with Cliff, I nearly said Cliff, I nearly said Cliff Richard then. <laughs> yeah, Dirty Harry Cliff Richard, can you imagine that? Clint Eastwood, Clint Eastwood, Southern Impact, he shoots the baddie from the top of the roller coaster at the end of the film. Southern Impact, check it out. Oh, I like this uh, promenade, it looks right fancy. Gilly's Leisure Centre. Bingo, bowling, games, two floors. You know, I still can't get over the amount of sand there is down there. Look at it all. No wonder they need a tractor to come along and scoop it all up every day. I saw them doing that just the other day when I was having breakfast in the Grand Hotel. I could see them running along here with the tractor. Must be an ongoing job, mustn't it? It's probably made a bit worse by these storms we've had recently. Mind you, we do seem to be a bit sheltered around here though. Britain's best fishing ships, Pappas. Yes, it's Pappas again, and they're closed. I have not seen a Pappas open since I've been on this trip. I've not seen a Pappas fish and chip restaurant open. What's going on? And they actually belong here in Yorkshire as well. And yet, if you go to Blackpool, look at all this, all this stuff here. Look at seaweed and bits of wood and all sorts of stuff here blown all over the road. The fish pan and we're not stuck for fish and chips here on the front in scarborough got another uh, arcade there nicholas shaw's silver dollar you know i was quite impressed with skegness's very compact promenade and the amount of arcades that they've got there and i have to say I'm quite impressed as well now with Scarborough. I didn't realise that these places had so many arcades. I thought it was Blackpool that had all the arcades. We do have quite a lot of arcades, but they're all spread out. Look at this pub here, the Lord Nelson. That's quite a fancy building, isn't it? Look, look up there, look. Of course, we've got a couple of seagulls right at the top there. They're spying, they're spying on us. They want our chips. Here's a quick look back the way, the RNLI do look to be training today. That's the station there. Got some more outlets here. We're just by this old building here with the clock tower on it. It's got toilets in it. What would that have been originally? I don't know. It's a really old building. And the clock's the right time as well. That makes a change. I think that leads down to the harbour, does it, down there? Uh, I do like this promenade. 
just over here we've got the Harbour Bar the Golden Grid oh look at this we don't have this in Blackpool do we eh? trawler boats now I don't know if they do fishing or is, is it just crabbing because when I was up the coast or should I say down the coast when I was down in Bridlington the they have a similar setup down there but it was only for crabbing that's all they do crabbing so maybe and judging by these the, these are crabbing nets aren't they do you think let me know in the comments I'm, I'm not too sure but look at all these look at all these trawlers here wow I mean up the road in Fleetwood as well from Blackpool the fishing industry up there completely died a death that might have been something similar to this you know back in the 70s the 60s and 70s and that just completely died a death there's no fishing hardly at all in Fleetwood anymore so they're very lucky to still have this here in Scarborough and by the way check it out there's the castle up there look Scarborough Castle I didn't even know Scarborough I had a castle till I got it unfortunately it's not open in the midweek I'm here on a Wednesday it's not open midweek this time of year but we'll head up there and uh, oh we should get a good view from up there shouldn't we we'll be able to see the other bay the north bay on the other side just look at the amount of crab nets we've got here crab baskets crab traps whatever you want to call them I'll tell you what they've got some pretty big boats here as well there's one over there called the sea grown right in the distance over there this one here is called the ardent wowzers everywhere you look crabbing basket things <laughs> I've never seen so many of them not even on the south coast the Newcastle packet quite an old looking pub isn't it and just over here we've got the Sandside Penny Arcade not open this one unfortunately and next to that we've got an old building there Bethel Mission Chapel that's a cafe I think Hello. Looks like it's got a little bit of damage to the door by the look of it. It's an old building, isn't it? Got another pub up here called the Gold Ball, or the Golden Ball, should I say. Sorry about the traffic noise, I'm right by the road here. Oh, look at this. I can't get over how many of these uh, crabbing basket things there are along here. They're everywhere. I wonder if they use all these. Wow. Everywhere you look. Looks like that boat over there is taking on supplies. They're probably going to go out on a bit of a mission. It's called this, it's got down there, Scrabster. On the back. And over here we've got a lighthouse. Is that um, a working lighthouse? Or is it just like there for show? Probably is a working lighthouse, isn't it? I don't know let me know in the comments but yeah just look at all these I can't get over it that's the golden ball and uh, oh we're coming up to a bit of a fun fair up here Luna Park I'm just looking at that building next to the pub there in the brick where it looks dead wonky like it's really really old the anchor fishing ships waterfront bar the Columbus coffee house and bar We've got a convenience store over here, the Lancaster pub. That's the Casino Royale. All we need now is James Bond. The Ivy House Cafe. Let's check out Luna Park. It's just up here. Don't think it'd be open though. So this is the entrance to Luna Park here in Scarborough and it doesn't look very big this, you know. What do they do? Just cart in a few rides in the summer? I don't know, I just thought it was going to be a lot bigger than, than this. It just looks like this is it. It's like a boardwalk. And just over here we've got some shutters which are probably, I don't know, um, playing games and stuff like that. But there's not, not a whole lot of area there really. Let me know in the comments what Luna Park's like because it doesn't look to be a whole lot to it really. What's this up here? This building here, that looks quite fancy doesn't it? Well, there's a blue plaque on the wall here 
but it just says when the uh, the coastal road was uh, constructed 1897 to 1908 and they must have stuck this building here when they did that uh, it's like a bit like a watchtower isn't it uh, so that road goes all the way around to the other side to the other bay I'll, I'll look up there look whoa that is so steep that, but this is that building from the other side there you go i don't really know what it was for if anyone knows let me know in the comments well i'm quite a long way from where i started right over there at the grand hotel it's miles away in the distance but now heading up this way look to the castle up here let's go oh i'm out of breath again i'm almost up to the top you can see in the distance there the entrance to the castle and I tell you what, it is a ruined castle, of course. It's run by Heritage England. We've got a moat down here. Look at this here. Look, and the castle wall, it must have been massive. It goes all the way around here. Check this out. We've got someone in a tent down here. Look, there's a tent there. You see that in Blackpool as well. Quite a few people pitching tents up all over the place. There's a couple of them near the zoo. But look, the wall goes all the way around there. Wow, it must have been absolutely massive. It's a pity I can't go in. Yeah, I'll try and show you what I can of the castle. And when I've done that, we'll head over and we'll have a look at Anne Bronte's grave. I think she was probably the, the least famous of the Bronte sisters. There was Emily and Charlotte and Anne. She's only 29 when she died. But anyway, we'll take a quick look at her grave. It's just on the other side. Looks a bit like one of the battlements up there, look. This is about the best I can do for you folks, Scarborough Castle. I think the Bronte sisters, I think they were all drinking poisoned water, you know. I think that's why they all died so young. Oh. Anyway, check this out. We're now looking on the other side at last. Welcome to Royal Albert Park. We're now getting a look at the other side, the North Bay of Scarborough. There's a slightly better view just over there, so I'm going to walk over there and I'll give you a better view. This is the entrance to Scarborough Castle. Check it out. Closed today, unfortunately. Fortified site since the 12th century, last used defensively in 1745. I want to touch it. You know me. I like to touch these things. Let's touch the gates. So the, I think these gates are more modern than the... Probably had a portcullis at one time, didn't it? Yeah. I wonder if that's where they threw boiling oil from up there. What do you think? They did some nice things back in those days, didn't they? Anyway, I think we're going to finish off just down here, folks. Uh, before we do, I want to show you the other side. I just want to show you the bay from up here because up this way here, we can get a clearer view of the North Bay. OK, I'm just walking around the back of this like house here, which is sort of styled like a castle. It can't be grade listed building this, otherwise you wouldn't be able to stick those uh, UPVC doors in there, would they? I don't think. I don't think so. Anyway, what do I know? Anyway, oh, wait till you see this view now. Look at the sea, the North Sea. It looks like a mill pond. Look at it. Oh, let's get down to this corner here. We'll see the whole lot. Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, come on. Oh, this is the North Bay of Scarborough. I get the impression it's a bit wilder on the north side of Scarborough, the North Bay here. I bet they get the brunt of the, the winds off the North Sea, although not today because the winds are coming from a different direction. But I bet when the wind comes in off the North Sea, I bet this side gets it a lot worse than the South side. So I say the South side is probably more popular for holiday makers, although I can see some uh, beach huts all the way up there. But it is a little bit more rugged up this end. And we're supposed to have had a storm today as well. We've just had storm issue. Um, a couple of days ago which kind of wipes a lot of places out but not here 
And we're supposed to have another storm now. I can't remember what it's called, but it seems to have blown itself out. It's been pretty calm since I've been here. OK, I'm just back at the entrance of the castle and I just want to show you one last thing down here. Anne Bronte's grave. It's in a graveyard just here on the left-hand side here. It's only a couple of minutes away. Here's a quick view of the South Bay. We can see right over there where I started, the Grand Hotel. We've got a church here. Can't remember the name of the church, but the grave of Anne Bronte is just in this little graveyard down here. Let's go and take a closer look, shall we? It's called St Mary's Parish Church and we finally made it to the top of the hill and it looks like someone's crashed into the wall here. Look at this here, look. Someone's crashed into the wall of the graveyard and it's just in here where Anne Bronte's grave is. It's this one here right in front of us. Look at that there, look. The old gravestone is mostly withered away. It's worn away, look. Died May the 28th, 1849. And they replaced that with this one here, look, novelist and poet. Here lies the remains of Anne Bronte, daughter of the Reg Reverend P. Bronte. There you go, just 29 years old. That was placed there in 2011 by the Bronte Society. So there you go, the grave of Anne Bronte. Right, I'm going to head back down to the promenade now and finish off. It looks like they've got some ruins here. I wonder what that was. There's nothing on it to say what it was. Maybe it was just an old church, what do you think? Anyway, there's like a, an entrance down here to the, up some steps maybe. Paradise. Let's have a look through here, shall we? Now then. Ooh. Uh, I'm not sure if those blocks of flats are paradise, but it's quite a nice view towards the distance. Look at that, wow. Looks a bit like I've found a council estate here, folks. They have that council look to them, these built some of these buildings. Anyway, look at this here. Straight down. Who'd want to be a postman round here? Well, that's the front of those flats there, which looked a bit like council flats. Not sure if I'm correct, let me know in the comments. But just down here, look at this here, look. Look at these houses here, wow. Wowzers. I'll tell you what though, you got to not mind walking up and down hills if you live around here. The Leeds Arms Pub. A warm welcome to everyone. A range of hand-pulled cast scales. Traditional ale house. Princess Street. So that was St Mary's Street where we've just come from. Oh, look up there. Wow. That's rather narrow, isn't it? We've got a bit of a cobble path going down here. We've got Princess Square. There's a building there with boarded up windows. I wonder what happened there. Oh, we've got another pub here, look. Wilson's Bar. Accommodation and food. So I'm going to head down here now and uh, down to the sea level, I think. Oh, we've got a joke shop down here, look. There you go. And this is where I'm coming out. There's that building over there with the toilets in. I'll tell you what, the seagulls are just as noisy here in Scarborough as what they are in Blackpool. Can you hear them? And here we are back down by the sea again. I do like to be beside the sea. So there you go, that was a look at Scarborough here on the East Coast. First time I've ever been to Scarborough, didn't do any research either. I kind of made it up as I went along. How did I do? 
How does it compare to Blackpool? Well, I don't think you can really compare the two. They're so, so different. Um, same with Skegness as well. Water's coming in. <laughs> Almost got wet feet then, yeah. And uh, I really like it. Yeah, it's really good. It's just like, a bit like Skegness as well. It surprised me. It really surprised me, a lot of the stuff that I've seen here in Scarborough. Yeah, I'm absolutely knackered now after walking all that distance, but we saw some sites here in Scarborough. I hope I've brought you all of the main sites and I haven't missed anything. If I have, you'll just have to let me know. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.